Hello, I'm now going to go through the concept of tethering, which is an example of an ad hoc network. I talked more generally about what an ad hoc network is in the last video, although I did mention personal hotspots, which are actually an example of tethering. So tethering is the general term given where we have one device connecting to another device in order to share its internet connection. So the word tether is about us connecting ourselves to something else. You might tether a boat to a jetty, you might tether yourself to a dog in the case of a lead, like in that picture. So it does make sense, you know, we've got this connection, they're linked in that way. And tethering can be almost like a lead with a wire. So you can connect two devices using, say, a USB cable, not something you see very often. So there'll be some phones which do enable you to, say, connect to your laptop and use your mobile data with the laptop. Of course, you might you plug in a cable to a laptop to transfer images or videos that can also be for a connection sometimes. But far more commonly, tethering can be done using a wireless connection. So we tend to call this a personal hotspot where you use a phone, in most cases, to broadcast a wireless signal which can be used by another device. Now clearly, to have this tethering going on, you need to have one device at least with an internet connection and it'll be one or more other devices tethered to it using its in internet connection. Now, a very common exam question, as you probably will know, is to evaluate a setup like this. So what are some good things, what are some bad things about tethering as a concept? Well, because tethering is an ad hoc network, you don't need much setup. By ad hoc, as a quick recap, we mean we can very quickly set up a network, very flexible, often it's for quite a short period of time. Well, you can launch a hotspot very quickly on your phone and use it for two minutes, close it down, and you're done. Very simple, very easy. And so on this note, you can just start it and end it whenever you want. You plug in a cable or turn on a hotspot on your phone, not a big deal, really. So it's very flexible. But if you are using your phone to do this, as you often are, you are paying for data. So maybe you have an allowance of two gigabytes per month. Maybe you've got unlimited and you're lucky, but you've got data on your phone. And clearly if you're using that data to create a hotspot, it's going to use up some of it. If you go over your allowance, it might even cost you quite a lot of money. And because your phone or tablet or laptop is having to broadcast a signal, if it is the device doing the tethering, the battery will get drained a lot faster because it's having to do more work. And because the devices you're going to be using to do the tethering are not designed primarily as broadcast devices, they're designed to be used for a phone or for a tablet. They're not designed to be routers. It means the range of the signal is generally quite low. Now, if you've got a cable, the range will be the length of your cable. But for a wireless hotspot, usually you can't move very far away from the device being used. And again, because it's not really designed for this main purpose, the connection can be relatively unstable and intermittent. Intermittent as a word means the signal kind of drops in and out. You might lose connection for a few seconds, which can be quite frustrating. It's not nearly as stable as say a dedicated wireless router would be. And I'd say the last two points here are generally issues with ad hoc networks because they're not permanent solutions. Often you have to compromise with the stability and also the range as well. And sometimes because you've got lots of networks going on at once, they can't interfere. So for example, if you've got wireless headphones connected to your phone, at the same time your phone is broadcasting a hotspot, it can mean the signals interfere and it can slow down the connection as well. So there are definitely performance issues with ad hoc networks.